Hello, in this video I will show you how to install Python 3.5 and Pygame on Windows. The installer from the Pygame page is usually not in sync with the latest version of Python and it is 32 bits only. Hopefully this situation will improve in the future. The solution for now is to use a free and open source distribution of Python like Miniconda that will let us use Pygame with the latest Python 3.5 version. Other advantage of Miniconda is that it will work essentially the same on Mac and Linux. Select the 32 or 64 bit version of the installer depending on your Windows. In my case, I will use the 64 bit version. Now, start the installer. You can safely accept the default settings. Once the installation is finished, open a command prompt window. It is a good idea to use a separate environment for our Pygame installation. In order to do this, we'll use the conda create command. Now, answer yes and wait until conda finishes to create the environment. We'll use activate work to enable the new environment. When a particular environment is activated, the prompt will contain his name in square bracket. Next, we'll install the Anaconda client in order to be able to search the Anaconda cloud for non-default libraries like Pygame. At this point, we can search the Pygame library using Anaconda search minus T conda Pygame. Ok, so we found more than one versions of Pygame. First one seems to be the best candidate and it will work on both 32 and 64 bit windows. In order to select a library, we'll use conda install minus minus channel https conda dot anaconda dot work slash coxi space Pygame. Write yes and wait for the installation to finish. Let's do a quick test to see if we can import Pygame in the interpreter. Seems to work. As a final test, let's draw something using Pygame. Create a new Python file and save this on your desktop. In my case, the file is named testpygame.py. Personally, I use Sublime Text for Python development, but you can use any text editor you prefer, like for example Notepad++ or Atom, which are both free. We'll start by creating an 800 by 600 window named Pygame Demo. Next, we'll implement the main loop, in which we first check for events like the window close signal. After we've processed the events, we clear the screen using a red color and we draw a blue square. Finally, we present the drawn scene with the display flip function. Now, we are ready to run the code. As expected, we have a blue square on a red background window. Thanks for watching and please like, share and subscribe.